Okay, today is December the 23rd, 2017. I've uh, worked on my aquarium today. I've got to clean the pump later this afternoon. I haven't been cleaned in about almost four weeks now. So I've tried to create a natural root wad right in here, best I could do with stumps and pieces of driftwood. And there's some of this driftwood is still not waterlogged, so I'm having to force it down with rocks, etc., and wedge it in at the top. This is a native tank. It's full of bluegill. I got one large mouth in there. Uh, I want to replace some of these bluegills with some, maybe a couple of crappie and at least one more large mouth and just native fish. So this end over here is all gravel and this is from my rock thing. Now these all these fish are from Pickwick Lake. Like I say, it's December the 13th. And she's trans over. So I span over here, I'm transitioning into what's going to be my grass patch. So I got some brown algae on the back I'll have to deal with. Uh, I've got uh, Monte Carlo planted in the covered ground right here. I just replanted it this morning. Uh, in the back I got Vesinaria Americana, which is basically known as eel grass, and that's a Florida native grass that they will grow to about two to three feet tall in ideal conditions. Hopefully it won't get much taller than what it is right now. But it should spread quite a bit. So what I want to really do is watch this carpet grass and see how long it takes it to cover this whole bottom. I had to tear, take a pair of tweezers and individually plant each one of those little strands. They come in a big wad. And it was a pretty good sized wad and it's pretty nasty. And you can see a lot of stuff floating around in there because I just did it. My, sock, my uh, filter hadn't got it all out. If you zoom in on this one spot right there, you can see that was a pretty good wad. I did not separate. I just left it alone. There's rhizomes or roots on the tops of those things, and uh, they'll spread. So hopefully I got the right combination of substrate here that will get them going. But anyway, it's December the 13th, 2017, and... Uh, We'll come back and look at this thing at least maybe a week or two weeks, or for sure a month, but that's my native tank, and see the reflection of the television off my screen down here. There's my large mouth. Coach put him in there. He wasn't a happy camper, but he's finally adjusting to the tank. I got pumpkin seeds in there, and more pumpkin seeds. Mostly pumpkin seeds. I think I've got 12, 13 fish in there, not counting a school of toughy minnows I put in there yesterday for the bass to eat so he wouldn't eat anything else. And uh, Mysteriously, a lot of them disappeared last night. Yeah, could possibly they could have got sucked up in my filter because I don't have a, the strainer over it because I'm trying to cycle all this stuff out of here. But anyway, that's, that's my tank. We'll see you again in about a week to two weeks and see how it does then.